You really hear that wind picking up it was almost calm and they could hear a noise way off to the west here and that's the thunderstorm blowing in it's really humid again today it's only about 20 degrees celsius right now it's supposed to go up closer to 30 and closer to 40 when you factor in the humidity yeah here it comes so we're probably going to get this severe thunderstorm we don't really need it anymore we've had enough rain for in the last couple of weeks Come on in, Pop. Come here. Come here. You like the rain?
Got to thank everybody for the amazing response you gave me on that last video, last Friday's the one where I got hurt, where I cut my finger. Just looking at the stats right now, and uh, it, what time is it? Twelve thirty on Monday afternoon. I posted that video on Friday, so there's 162,000 views on the video, which is probably a little bit below average, but. 1901 comments and 23,000 thumbs up. I just am overwhelmed by the response and what you guys were able to do for me by uh, interacting with that video. I just really, really overwhelmed and I really, really appreciate it. That's incredible. Like the previous one, for example, uh, DIY Cedar Shingle Roof. I guess, yeah, the pavilion roof from the previous Friday has 180,000 views. 821 comments and 8,400, 8,430 thumbs up. So compared to 23,000 thumbs up on that last video, so that uh, that helps me out because it it um, it uh, encourages YouTube to share that video with more people. Let's zoom in a little bit. So it encourages YouTube to share that video with more people because they assume you guys like it that much. Uh, I'm hoping you did. I hope you didn't just hit the thumbs up because I asked you to. I hope you did actually enjoy that video. Um, and like I said, I really, really appreciate that you were able to uh, thumbs up and uh, and few of you subscribed who said you'd never subscribed to a channel before or you just didn't feel compelled to in this case. So, like I said, just overwhelmed and I really appreciate it. You know, I, when I got up this morning, I had a hard time getting out of bed and... and uh, getting to work because I don't know it's just a couple of hot days it's been brutally hot this summer it's the end of August and temperature outside today is plus over 30 degrees Celsius which is over 90 and with the humidex with the humidity it feels like 41 degrees out today and it was not much better yesterday so I cut all those logs or those uh, butt ends pieces for the floor of the kitchen and then I just got so tired, so exhausted from the heat by the end of the day that I didn't do much last night. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time with motivation right now. I think it's just the seasonal thing. It's working on one project for too long. I'm just a restless kind of guy. I like to get out and explore. I haven't done as much of that this year. My wife and I have not got out uh, much on the water uh, together with my daughters. or And I haven't done any uh, solo trips on my own. So I'm a little bit restless, so hard time getting motivated. Uh, but things like that, things like uh, the response that you're giving me really encourages me to keep going and keep, uh, you know, get up and do something productive every day. But the fact is that I do feel some responsibility to, to you guys. I feel like that um, if I don't do something interesting with my life, I don't film it. You don't get to watch it on Friday and you don't know, get to be entertained or learn something, which I, I hope I'm doing one of those two things. So sometimes, yeah, it is hard to get motivated, but I have to tell myself, get up, create some content for you guys, but also continue to, to uh, develop this place into a habitable, comfortable home, especially for family. Um, I've said many times I could easily live like this, just with what's already been here on my own. But the reality is, over time, I think I'd probably get a little bit bored with it or feel like I'm missing some of those comforts. So this uh, solar system that I've got with the lights behind you here is one of those things that I'm starting to appreciate. So now I'm thinking, okay, what little things can I add electrical-wise, what uh, power uh, stuff can I add here to make my wife's life more comfortable at least and mine? Because the more comfortable I get this place, the more she's going to want to spend time here with me. Instead of me here being alone a lot of the time. So, motivation. It comes in many forms. And uh, it takes some effort to maybe find what motivates you. And to me, right now, motivated by you, my family, but also the uh, season coming to an end. So, I love the transitions. I like, uh, I get a little bit bored with the hot summer. And then I look forward to fall. When fall arrives, the cool weather, the beautiful scenery, I get motivated to get uh, things done around here, especially knowing that winter's coming. So getting all the firewood stacked up in a neat pile 
uh, near the cabin, uh, finishing off the kitchen completely so that I can cook in it and be sheltered from the snow and uh, get that next building started before the ground freezes. I want to get that foundation in and, and the walls at least and then I can probably tarp the roof so that I can work inside all winter. So yeah, just tired this morning and uh, needed some motivation so my wife gave me some good advice this morning and you guys uh, got me motivated by uh, by the response that you gave me on that last video so thank you for that so i'm having a fun time doing something different so with this heat outside i didn't feel like working in the bush cutting at logs or uh, trees or anything or working on the kitchen so working inside and uh, attempting this stonework which is coming out much better than the kitchen stonework at least so i'm happy about that anyway finish up lunch and get back to work thanks regretting doing something different on this wall including using mortar instead of the clay and sand that I used on the other walls that stuff is a lot more flexible it seems it's not cracking this is way too thick and wasn't sponged when it was done so it's pretty rough so now I need to straighten out the lines by chiseling it straight and then when I do that I might have to clean the logs might even have to sand them a little bit so I don't know, I've created more work for myself. But I want this uh, interior especially. I don't care too much about it, the full exterior look, but um, in here I'd like it to look a little bit neater, cleaner, and then when I end up staining or clear coating the logs if I ever do, then uh, that mortar will stand out even more. So I want it to look as good as possible. And I want to finish this wall right now so that I can get the uh, coat hooks back up so I can hang my clothes instead of having them lying all over the loft up there. So I think the right thing to do here, and I'm no stonemason as you know, but I think um, intuitively I'm thinking that I should stop at this point and finish this tomorrow. Let this mortar set up and, and uh, well, mostly that, let it set up so that it doesn't keep settling and all the water drain out of it. I'm just thinking that with all the weight of all these stones as I get higher compressing it's probably forcing some of the mortar out and weakening the joints I think tell me if I'm wrong but that's what I'm going to do I'll stop at this point and then tomorrow morning I will mix up another batch of mortar and get it finished I can't well I could I guess but I'm too nervous about bringing this wall up full height I just think it's going to be too much weight bearing down on this gravel and uh, flagstone pad that the stove's sitting on. And I have a, some uh, nails every foot or so going back, like long spikes back into the wood wall. I'm afraid that all this weight located in one spot in the cabin is going to cause everything to sag. So I don't want to go up too high and add that much weight. So I'm going to bring it up sort of up to mantle height, maybe somewhere in here. I want to be able to see it above the stove, so maybe to here, and then from there to the top, I'll fill it in with a piece of some kind of decorative metal. Still, I need that um, the reflector to stop the heat from the stove and the pipe. 
from burning the walls. So I need something there with an air gap. So to bring stone up to here, put a piece of metal, I think, well, I know that'll be safe, but I hope it looks good too. Thanks for watching that video. I'm going to wrap it up right now. I'm starting to feel the pressure of winter coming on. I think what I'll do is just work a little bit longer each day. Try to get some of these things wrapped up. So I'll make short videos and I'll upload those a few times a week. So two, three, four times a week, something like that. Instead of the long Friday video. So if you're watching this on Friday, make sure you go back and see if there's any videos you missed during the week or tune in in the next two or three or four days uh, between now and next Friday. Um, I'll probably do this schedule for maybe the fall until things slow down again in the winter. Just uh, like I said, so that I can get lots of things done around the cabin here. So I'm gonna go make dinner right now, but nothing interesting. I'm just grabbing some stuff off the shelves and I'll make some bean or rice soup or something like that. Uh, tomorrow I've got some nice duck press though. So I'm gonna make those, grill them on the barbecue and uh, make a blueberry sauce or something to go with them and some wild rice. So tomorrow after breakfast I'll get started right away on the hearth, the stone backsplash behind the, the wood stove so that it has time to dry before I get the stove put back together and back into place. Um, I'll clean that chimney as well. So that'll be in the next video, me finishing that wall off, cleaning the wood stove, cleaning the chimney out, putting it back together, getting it in place. So lots and lots of stuff going on this fall and uh, Hopefully I'll get enough done and prepared so that I can work inside one of the buildings all winter. So thanks for watching that. I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.